Yes. Audio at least is synced up with what, what they're hearing. Tink. I don't think I can hear it here. live this feels do you feel like you're in a tomb An echo tunnel echo yes tunnel. so um hey anyway, this is monday sketchy live i'm john jalopy this is itty b welcome to the funnest sketch show on the planet i'm just now hearing that <laughs> <laughs> so you remember Johnny went all ballistic with the lights and we did the lights thing. Mm -hmm. Then we got the microphone. Then we got the mic. After the mess up last week when and we had Ian on. Yeah. I feel so bad. You guys could hear him. We couldn't hear him because we had our echo blocked. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? We had. Uh, if, if <laughs> so weird can you hear me anyways no it's because we had the headphone jack plugged in so that it would basically not you wouldn't hear it like we're hearing now it's a whole now. Echo right now called latency what's that latency yeah we've got a lot of, you know when you hit 50 you get a lot of latency yeah anyways so johnny's like oh Next day, he went online, ordered these. I can't hear myself think right now. That's all right. You don't need to. My brain is exploding. Hi, this is with Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry. Today is Friday, January 21st, 2020. Well, shouldn't I show the screen? Okay. So a couple, let's tell people what we're doing. A couple months ago. We had asked people to send a commercial of themselves. We Smallest. have so many talented people. Yeah, we want to share. So um, we didn't do it then, but we're going to do it now. First up, um, we've got Lizzie Daughtry, who's been a fan for a long time. And she Liz sent her video, and I cannot find it. Yeah. So I apologize. But she did post one today. Yep, so we're going to we're gonna show that. Yes. Showing it now. Good afternoon. This is Elizabeth with Elizabeth's Handmade Jewelry. Today is Friday, January 21st, 2022. I want to show you the blue earrings that I had made from resin. They are $60 each. If you're interested, they would be on my Elizabeth's Handmade Jewelry on my YouTube page and also my Facebook page with the exact same name. When you go to my YouTube uh, channel, please like my channel, please share my channel. Please tell your family and friends about my channel. Please go hit the notification bell so that you will get notified every time when I upload a new video. And please comment on my channel. If you have any questions, that I can answer for you. I would appreciate it very, very much. 
for the most important is please tell your family and friends about my Elizabeth Handmade Jewelry on my YouTube channel. That would help me very much. I hope you all have a great weekend. There you go. Perfect. There hope you have Lizzie. a great weekend. So that was Lizzie Daughtry Handmade Jewelry. Who else do we have? Well, I'll wait until you load it. So it's on us right now. Let me know when you're ready. We got Matt Williams. Okay. I'm Matt. What are you doing? Published author. And I even have my own YouTube channel called Broad Shop Press. I am into antiquing. I'm into old cards, definitely into old cards. I'm also into drawing classic cards and pinups. And there are other artists whose work I am a big fan of as well, such as Ed Big Daddy Roth, George Trossley, and Keith Weisner. There's one especially who I would like to give a big shout out to. And that's Johnny Jalopy. What? In fact, he and his art have been featured on Motor Trim's full custom garage with Ann Rossell. Together, they have collaborated on some very wicked rides. Johnny also has his own website, which offers. Oh! Sorry, Matt. A line of apparel featuring his artwork. In fact, I am wearing one of his t-shirts right now. Nice. He also does a show along with his wife called Sketchy Live. It's on Mondays on his Facebook page, Johnny Jalopy Art. And I encourage you to watch. It's some very cool art while keeping you entertained along with his wife, Giddy B. He has a good channel as well. And so go over there and subscribe to that and give his videos a like. So again, remember to watch Sketchy Live on Facebook. It's on Monday nights at 9 Eastern. And go to his website, johnnyjalopy.com, and get yourself some cool swag. And as Johnny Jalopy says himself, it's what the cool people wear. <laughs> and as they say on Sketchy Live, Stay sketchy. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and you all have a wonderful evening. Rock yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yay, I love it. That was great. And he's got the new band. Or sketchy yeah. wristband. Who do we got now? Oh. I ever need a website. It's going to be Hank D for me. But Hank's so much more than just a web you, designer. It's going he so fast. Cool stickers. Pause it. T-shirt. Jeez. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is Draco, but he's promoting Hank D. Hey, folks, this is Draco. I'm here to tell you that if I ever need a website, it's going to be Hank D for me. <laughs> But Hank's so much more than just a web designer. He designs stickers, t-shirts, wonderful little uh, 3D printed toys. He designs them and makes them, prints them out. And the work he's done with Johnny Jalopy's website is nothing short of phenomenal. Yes. So if you need a website done or 3D printed creation, t-shirt, sticker, Hank D's the guy to go see. Thank you very much. And this was great because. Hey, folks, this is Draco. What do you. I'm here. Jeez. You were horrible at this playback. Hey, I'm So I said to Draco, this was fantastic that you said this, but we want to hear about you. So. Without further ado, if I can get it to work. Jesus. Don't touch it. Go. I do strange things. I do weird stuff. I do 3D printed cool. little trucks. Hang them. Put weird little eyeballs in them. When Hanky D wouldn't sell me a Johnny Jalopy, I made him <laughs> I also do I like that. Oh, yeah. Little cars on pink cars. Nice. My favorites are doing yeah. patriotic things. Oh, man. Every now and then I'll do a little uh, 
164 scale car with a monster on it. Sometimes a 164 scale car with a pinup girl on it. Was that you? No. You just never know what you're <laughs> going to see. Nice. Right. That's me. Right. Right. So cool. Everything he does, I feel hey. like, is so microscopic. I don't know how he sees that small. Yeah, I don't either. Anyways, so we wanted to get those commercials out of the way and just share with you a little bit about what some of the talented people that, that are part of our Jalopy Army are doing. Yeah, thanks for sending those in. And that was really cool. It was cool. Thanks for sharing, Johnny. So you get to drawing. And what are you okay. drawing? So tonight, from the Great Race... The movie 1965. Yeah. How old were you? I wasn't born yet. I know. <laughs> Neither were you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to draw Professor Fate. Cool race car. Yeah, it is a interesting design. Right up Johnny's alley. Um, while he gets started on that, which he did pre-sketch today, I, I am going to share sure. with you who's on the broadcast with us tonight. <clears throat> so Hopefully we've got, still people. There oh. are still people. 24. Michael okay. Allen is joining us. Welcome, what sir. Up, dude? Uh, Mike Ferrucci. Good sketchy evening. Ah! We've got Paul Marziani joining us. He says hello, all. Alex Cuderon is joining us. Hi, everyone. What's going on? Jim Pollen, who just celebrated a birthday. Hello Happy to everyone. Birthday. From Hobo's Hot Rod Garage in Horseheads, New York. Finally above zero, he said. <laughs> I don't even want to hear it. You sent your cold weather down here because we are freezing. Um, Lizzie is asking us to pray for Randy, her husband. He has COVID and he's still sick. He's not feeling well at all. So definitely in our prayers. Um, James Alchin's joining us. He says, check me in. I am here. Yeah, we do have an attendance schedule that I'm keeping very close watch over. <laughs> <laughs> do not be late again. Yes. <laughs> or there will be severe consequences. We're the ones who are normally late. Um, <laughs> Kevin, jo Kevin Johnson is joining us. Hello from Hudwis, he says. Time to get sketchy. What is going on? The McCoys are joining us. Good evening from a cool and cozy Kuyan Customs from the McCoys of Maurice. I love it. I do too. Um, Kevin Byron is joining us. Hey, hey, from Elizabeth, Colorado. Going to snow tonight. So he's getting <laughs> a little snow out there. You know what? That's the place for it, not Florida. Right. Mama Wood is in the house. What's Hi, up, my Mom? babies. Mom and Tim are in the house. And hello to all my army babies, she said. <laughs> I love that she's now taking ownership of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've all been adopted. That's right. No better woman to do it. No, there isn't. Uh, Julie Anderson's joining us. Howdy from Foggy PNW tonight. PNW. Um, Draco said, trying the feed on a MacBook being how three different iPads didn't work last week. Uh, hopefully you're hearing us and seeing us. And if you're not, I'm hearing us twice for myself. <laughs> I don't even have it in my ears now. I can't. Do you want to un undo? Is yeah, it too much? I don't like, I think if we bring somebody on, it's going to be good, but I'm very distracted. I, I have a hard time hearing myself and hearing this because I can't hear. Yeah, it's really weird. Okay. Okay. I'm dethroning my ears. Okay. Oh, that's better. So do this. So then what? Take I'm this out. Okay. That way we get no echo. No echo, echo, right. echo. Okay. Well, we try, we're set up. So when we bring in somebody now, like we did with Ian last week, we'll be able to hear it. Okay. okay. Yeah. I just, I just didn't want that to happen again, you know? Right. Well, and we know that they work. So, yeah. Test. So, and maybe, maybe for next week, we will coordinate ahead of time with somebody and maybe bring on a special guest next week. Uh, I was thinking that when we have some time. We didn't have time to coordinate that tonight. Um, Robert Spear is joining us. Welcome, sir. Hey, what's going on? Um, Hank Dutton said, wow. I think that might have been in response to the cool Draco shout out. Yeah, I might have to show his again because I feel like a bit bad that it, it did cut off. Although yeah, so. we, we aren't seeing Draco's face. He reminds me of 
the guy in Home Improvement where you only right, see yeah, his eyes. The it's only the neighbor. top half. Yeah. Wilson, is that what it was? Wilson. Wilson, yeah. Um, but yeah, Hank Dutton, guys, is he is our web designer. He is amazing. He's done so many great things for us. We are super happy with the website. He's done his little 3D creations. I don't know if you can see up front the little Johnny Jalopy and Eddie B figurines. He made those super for cool. us. Has that ability. Just a phenomenal, creative, artistic guy. So He's a great dude. He is. We love working with him. Um, Draco said, actually, a smart move. I don't know what he was referring to. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, Alicia Allen is joining us. Hello, everyone. Welcome. What's going on? She said lots of talent. Yes, we and anybody else. I know um, we had put the feelers out there at one point and we only got a few responses. But anybody else who wants to do like a little 30 second commercial about themselves, feel free to message me or Johnny and um, we'll show it next week because that was really fun. Yeah, that was cool. Um, Robert Spears said, nice headphones. Thank you. Um, Spud Anderson is joining us probably from across the room <laughs> at Julie's house <laughs> in the PN dub. We've got Cam McNulty. Oh. Say it. Me do uh. Me do uh, joining us from Wyoming. They just got back from uh, Children's Hospital, Hospital, so everything's good. Everything's well. Good. I said, I hope everything's well. Oh, I'm sure it is, or you would have gotten a phone call. Mm -hmm. God is good. I would assume. Uh, Joe Lombardo is joining us. Hello, you two from Jersey. What's going on? Stomping grounds. Stompies. Uh, Mike Frucci said, freaking 27 this morning here in Homosassa. I know. Um, and I think somebody on the news, one of the weather guys posted that it was like 45 degrees or something like that. Or it was 39 degrees in Alaska and it was 33 degrees here. Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, Joe Lombardo said, when are you guys coming up? I owe you a Trenton tomato pie from the great De Lorenzo's. Um, actually planning a trip for Father's Day weekend, actually. So I don't know how much time we will have, but maybe we can do, uh, maybe we can plan a day to do a get together because yeah, that would be cool, right? Because we do have some Jersey peeps watching and we'd love to meet up with you. Yeah. Um, Robert Spears said, fine, I'll be your special guest next week. Yeah. <laughs> that would be great. Let's do it, man. We're Robert, talking about, uh, we, we were probably going to save you for like our May 4th episode. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's busy on that one. He might be. He might be. I'm just kidding. Jason Michael Leas. Hi from Jason and Jason Michael Leas. And he <laughs> keeps spelling it phonetically for me. I know it now. <laughs> it's been years. He's like, I just in now. case. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Luke Vio, hello, Johnny Jalopy and Itty B from West Palm Beach. Uh, Luke, I would imagine you guys are chilly over there as well. Yeah, probably a little smidgen of a chill. Hank said, didn't I send you a video? No, I don't believe I got one. I don't remember seeing it. And if we did, then. If we did, and if you send it to the johnnyjalopy.com. Um, then we will make sure we'll that get messenger it back. Messenger that we have going on. It probably got lost in translation because we have so much stuff in there. That we go back and forth with you on so please resend it and we'll we'll send it uh we'll, we'll definitely it have it week. on the next one for yeah. sure um howard pierpont said 45 degrees headed for snow overnight in Greeley, colorado it's actually warmer there or about the same temperature as right now let's see it's 48 and partly cloudy right now where we are crazy and that's colorado vincent berriman is joining us hi guys just saying hi from Fremont, California. Well, hey. Welcome. Thanks for yeah, joining welcome us to tonight. Welcome to the podcast. Yeah, for sure. Um, the McCoy said Johnny should have the McCoy's video on his messenger from about three weeks ago. All right. I'm going to write these down. Oh, the double check. Yeah. There's so much stuff happened in the last few weeks. I know. <laughs> McCoy's, I'm going to put, and then we're going to check for Hanks. I mean, it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean that it didn't happen because, you know, I am probably maybe lost it or something. Yeah, you might have to send it to me. Just saying. Um, Although some stuff gets deleted on the in my in the email, so um, they didn't send it to email. They sent. I'm it just to saying. Messenger. Sometimes I'm just saying. I'm just things saying. get deleted in email. Sometimes before I even I'm get to look the email. Otherwise, before I get to look at anything. A hundred things. Mm -hmm. um, I am not even focusing on your drawing. Let me show people. Yeah, nobody you're cares. Doing. I'm going to show people what you're doing. There you go. Okay. Um, Kevin Byron wants to know, are the iguanas dropping in Florida? I have heard that they are. Do what? That's news on the street. When it gets too cold, oh, they die? the iguanas drop out of the trees. No, they're not oh. dead. They just go into some kind of hypostatus. I don't know. Hypostatus. I'm not sure what it's called. Is that the medical term for it? A little bit. Um, Draco said, like the commercial, 
I got your back. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Luke said, yes, it's 53, 53 degrees over there. I'm going to zoom you in on Johnny's drawing as he's doing it here. Wacky design on this. And actually he, uh, where did you even get the idea to do this? Today when I was at work. Yeah, I know. But did it just pop in your head? Yeah, I was like, even... what could I do to draw? I was like, Something what different? movie What movie car have we not done yet? And this was one of the ones that was on my list. It and was? Yeah. Have we talked about it before? Because I don't remember hearing anything about it. No, we hadn't. But it was on my list in okay. my head of ones that I was like, I want to get to. And so I was like, you know, it'd be fun to do. It's just a fun little cartoon because I'm not doing a real, it's a more little cartoony, sketchy, cartoony thing. So, right. you know, a little nod to the original car itself. But So more... you thought about this. He actually hand sketched it on a yeah. piece of paper today. At work. Brought it home, showed it to me, scanned it in, and that's what he's uh, working off of right now <clears throat> for this line work. But um, he's like, you know, I vaguely remember the movie. I just, I just remember really liking the car. So I'm going to go ahead and watch the movie. Yeah. <laughs> to refamiliarize. Of course, I didn't watch it with him because I was still working, and then I had dinner to make, and you know, normal wife. All kinds of excuses. Normal yeah. wifely things. Um, so I didn't watch it with him. So I have no idea what this is about has anybody else seen this movie it's called the great the great race race the great race um luke said fresh out of rehab and hospitals from six month nightmare finally back in my man cave awaiting the next surgery on my right shoulder Eesh. luke we are continuing to pray for you i'm glad you're home though there's no place like home that's I, right i think someone once said um so happy to hear that robert spears said i know this up and coming car builder named ian maybe he should send in a commercial for you guys promoting his vw custom car shop after last week i don't know if he wants to yeah, join right. our broadcast <laughs> in any way shape he had, or form had that cool little at this point i feel intro that. that we totally botched yeah i was i was upset uh, Joe Lombardo said, yes, I was five when it came out. So he saw it. Anybody else? Has anyone else seen this movie? Or do you recognize the car? I've never seen anything like that. And not this. to mention, just because you uh, may not have been born when it came out, it's, it's been shown on TV a bunch of is times. It, is it a black and white movie? Yeah. It's not? 1965, man. What, are they still doing black and white? No, it was color. I thought Panavision, Little, baby. Little Rascals was Panavision. black and white. It wasn't the 60s? When was Little Rascals? The 80s. No, it was not. <laughs> no, it was not. Um, Robert wants to know, is the movie on Disney Plus? Uh, I don't know. I know it's on um, Amazon. That's where I got it. It was a dollar. Dollar $1.99. Nine to rent. Yep. It was pretty cheap, so I allowed it. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Mom, let me watch it. So I was <laughs> super excited. Um, Kevin Byron said, Johnny, sorry, I am new here. What's your day job? You are so talented. Uh, retail manager. Retail manager by day, artiste by night. What was crazy is a guy, I was uh, called up today mm -hmm. in the front, and it was like, uh, had to check this guy's ID and stuff like that. And he looked, gives him this weird look. And I was like, oh, he probably feels pissed. Was he off. buying spray paint? No. Oh. You said he had a check. Why does your brain do what it does? Why do you, I don't understand. Why can't Jesus. you just listen to a story? Why are we having to check his ID? No, no, no. Why can't you just listen to a story and let it unfold? It's Why not do you, like you're selling No, no, no. Alcohol. Wait, listen. Why do you got to be like 40 steps ahead trying to figure it out? And you're never right. I know. You're not even close. So you, there was no spray paint. It was a purchase over a $1,000. So we oh. have to check our IDs when we're done. High roller. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, over no, a thousand. Yeah. No spray paint. Anyhow. Anyway, so you're thinking he recognizes you. No, I, that's my point. I'm trying oh. to get to. See how you ruin a story? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> so whatever. So annoyed right so now. So he's looking at you like he knows you. No, that's my point. Oh, okay. Are you done? Yes. Hey, listen, Kojak, <laughs> you suck at detective work. Go ahead. So he calls me up. I get called up because that's my job. Are you with me? Yeah. I know you right now you want to interject. I do. What was it? Was it for a purchase? <laughs> we got we've already figured that out. <laughs> Write it down in your little book. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. So I check his ID and he's still giving me this weird look of like, and I was like, he must be annoyed that I had to come and check his thing. So I'm he's he needs a, someone to assist him out because he's got a lot of heavy stuff. Oh. 
So I'm up there and I'm like, I'll help you out. So I roll the stuff out to his truck and we start loading stuff up. And he goes, Johnny Jalopy? I'm like, yeah. He goes, I thought that was you. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah, from the show. Is that guy as cool as he seems? I'm like, hey, super cool. And then it just like the whole. The tension dropped. Totally dropped. So that part I got right. And I was like, hey, man, what part? When you I got no part. Dropped. You got no parts. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, that's that's normally that's normally what happens is somebody will be looking at us weird. And like at first, I'm like, why are these people glaring at me? Like I take it personally because <laughs> I think they're glaring at me. And then and they're like they recognize you from the show. I'm not on the show. And then I say, see how annoying that is. <laughs> and then um, sometimes sometimes they just look and we never know. Are they trying to guess your? Are because they trying to guess who you are? Do they know where you, do they know you? I'm like, hi, I'm Beth. I might've sold you an insurance policy, oh. <laughs> but it's not me. They're looking at this one, but sometimes people won't say anything. That's the crazy part. Like they'll look at them and look at them. You can see them like checking their phone and then they put their phone down and then they walk away and they never even come up and say anything. Yeah. I'm like, we're, the, and I'm like, okay. Maybe they're just like, that guy's a jerk. Because I don't think people realize that you live here. Well, most people don't. I think don't. they think you live in California and yeah. that you're, you know. So far, everybody. Why would you be out in Florida at, you know, in Aldi? For <laughs> working at a tool store. That too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Robert Spears said custom car or car custom designer by day. Yes. Well, yeah. that, he does. He does. Uh, Joe Lombardo said, you're killing me. Little Rascals was 1920s to 1940s. Right. So it was earlier, like I said. Michael Williams said, Draco, are you harassing the artiste and his muse? Hello, Johnny Jalopy and Eddie B. How are y'all? We're good. Welcome. How are you? Um, Hank says, why does, why does your brain do what it does? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to figure he it out. so mad since, at me. Since, we got, since we've been together. I know. I'm like, why do you have to do that? Just let it unfold. I it's formulate my own ending to every scenario. <laughs> it's like, and it's at the beginning. You, you haven't got gathered all the information. You've already like. My kids you're, it's like, hate this about me. Oh. <laughs> Kevin, all the time, I'll be like, oh, so this, this, this. And he's like, no. <laughs> it's, so funny to say. it's so annoying. <laughs> because yeah, sometimes I'm right. And you're then, never right. I am too. And then I feel like a genius. <laughs> You're never right. You're coincidentally happened to fall upon it. Whatever. You're never, it's never your intellect that goes, oh, based on reasoning of deduction. <laughs> oh, Robert Spears said that needs to be on a shirt. Oh, uh, what? Why Which does your part? brain, why does your brain do what it does? Yeah. <laughs> Draco said, not me. Kevin said, sorry, I started that. <laughs> Alicia said, "Great story." Listen, it's been uh, it's been started a long time ago. Joe Lombardo said, "It's an Italian thing." You talking to me? That's right. I have not done a twenty three in me, um, so I don't know exactly how much Italian. Your I Your family am. has already done one for you. My sister did, but she's different. She's not of the same. You gotta be kidding me. The, her dominant traits you are different. Be, your parents are the same. That doesn't mean anything. She could have had you're, more of something in her than I had in me. Listen, like your, dad, her your mom tan. had, never mind. Her ability to tan is different than mine. She's also 5'10", I'm 5'6". What does that have to do with it? Because her DNA is a little different. We don't have the same DNA. Our makeup is a little different. I might be more Irish than Italian than her. Maybe she has more of an Italian in What? Her. Honestly, you think you and your oh, brother are the goodness. exact same percentage of Mexican and Indian? Look at the two of you. No, I'm probably more because I was born first. No, you're not. You're more. You so favor I got your dad. I got more. I'm Hawaiian. You, fa <laughs> <laughs> you favor your dad more because of the whiteness in you. It was the dominant gene. Um, Hank said, you're back. And what's the deal with gene? <laughs> Remember that episode? <laughs> Hank said, years back, I got into an accident and the state highway patrol assisted the accident. He was looking at me and he was talking to someone else and said, oh, I'm not, 
worried about you guys running. I know who he is pointing at me and I've never seen that dude in my life. Hmm. So there's a chance you have a record <laughs> as someone else. Um, Mike Ferrucci said, Kevin Byron, just sit back and enjoy the shenanigans. <laughs> Dan Schleisman's joining us. Hi, guys. Fun car tonight. So, Dan, do you remember this car? Have you seen this car before? Either in a magazine or on a show, or did you watch the movie, The Great Escape? No. The Great. That's a different movie. The Great Run? The Great, the great Race. race. How, the great how, race. How hard could it be? Sorry. Uh, Michael Williams said, Johnny and Nitty B, go on YouTube sometime and look up George Burns and Gracie Allen as a comedy team. You all are just as funny but improv, not scripted, then we're going to need to get you a cigar. Huh. <laughs> that guy was one of my favorites. I love George Which guy? Burns. George Burns. You like the Burns? I do like the Burns. Huh. Um, Robert Spears said they have the same parents, but different traits. Ha ha. I agree with Johnny on this one. Yeah. Come on. Really? Your parents are the same. Well, Kevin Johnson, um, where do you check in on this? Because... I'm not oh. allowed to doubt you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kevin Johnson from HUD West, tell us. Uh, oh, here he is. Oh, he said, hey, everybody, I'm out for the night. I'm just too tired after a 16-hour day. See you all next week. Kevin, I need you. Wow. It's it's going to be his make-or-break statement here that tells us whether or not. Why is he the all-knowing? Because I've doubted him so many times, and he was right every time. So now I just believe everything Is he, he says. right? <laughs> <laughs> or is it you right where it's not right it's kind of right joe lombardo said i am seriously laughing my ass off um hank dutton said i'm pretty sure i have a doppelganger that lives close to me i get people looking at me weird all the time see i i think i have a doppelganger as well oh yeah who's that i don't know i know you do you have a couple what do you mean you look like other people say that they don't look like you or that they look like you all the time what? Somebody was like, oh, I have a cousin that looks just like him. Or my sister married a guy that looks just like him. And then I'm like, does he have a separate life? Am I not your total thing? Maybe you have a whole nother family somewhere. So I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. You're, you, you're all I can handle. Michael Williams said, don't say you're Hawaiian, Johnny. She'll give you a punch. It's a, That's an inside family joke. <laughs> my older son was born in Hawaii. Therefore, he feels he's Hawaiian. <laughs> So silly. Oh, Kevin Johnson said, what's the dilemma? The dilemma is that my sister has done a 23 in me. Same parents. So therefore, she's going, I, I need to do one because because I don't gonna, know the outcome is going to be the difference. Yes, I think our percentages of Italian, Irish, and whatnot are going to be different <laughs> so between siblings because there's dominant um, ethnicities. Why would it change? Your parents are the same. Because have you ever? So then, what is your dad suddenly <laughs> like having having a time with your mom? Your you your dad and your mom are making whoopee, as they said back in the seventies. In the Hollywood Square days. Two. <laughs> so they're making they're making whoopee, making sweet sweet whoopee, and your dad's like, oh, I'm gonna fade the Italian out on this one. <laughs> Why did you have to do this? How's your, how's your dad oh fading, my God. Up, fading no. out the Italian? No, but so so a mixed baby, a black black and white mix. You're telling me why that are we one, talking about? You're changing the subject. If they have two babies and one of them is dark skin and one of them is light skin, you're going to tell me that the that the predominant uh, genes in the dark baby is not African American as compared to maybe lesser of that I think, exists in the, I don't think the don't subject know. matter and what you're talking about right now is the same as what we're discussing so you've totally taken what we're discussing out of a context I'm talking and turning about it into something that's totally different dominant genes which are recorded in that 23 and me thing it tells you it, it, out it, of a hundred percent of who you are how much of you is each ethnicity is what it tells you um Hank says Eddie are you the oldest kid in your family no I am number four technically i had a sister born between me and my sister that passed away so i would have been the fourth but i am truly the third um luke said so if you're born in florida you're not a floridian <laughs> right no yeah you can be of florida you're a floridian but not <laughs> he thinks his descent 
there's a difference between where you're from and where you stem from. Like I am, I'm from New Jersey, so I'm New Jerseyan, but my ethnicity is Italian Irish. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. But you think, what I've been told. but you think that your sister's percentage will be different than yours. Yes. And you're um, basing this off of what type of science? Genetics. You, you studied genetics. I did. I took biology as a freshman in high That's school. That's biology. That's not genetics. It's it was a division in biology. It was oh, genetics. Is it? Yes. Oh, is it? Okay. So explain to me genetics. Give me your thesis. X Y man. X Y what? I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> Luke said. So, oh, I'm sorry. Dan Schleisman said yes. I remember the movie The Great Race. He remembers it. Um, evening, uh, Dave Walters is joining us. Evening from a cold Jersey, even if siblings will be the same ethnicity. Yes. So my percentages are going to be exact to my sister's percentages. Correct. You are the same as your sister. You know what? I'm going to do it then and just prove everybody wrong. <laughs> I think it's going to be different. Um, Robert Spears said, if your results are different than your sister's, you better have a conversation with your parents. Exactly. Um, Hank said, are you talking about genes or traits or are you talking about nationality? Maybe it's nationality then is what I'm talking about. Um, Alicia Allen said, it, you need to do it. I must know. <laughs> Tracy Corfield is joining us. Sorry, I'm late guys, but I'm here. Shelter duties. Don't stop. I've missed you guys. Hey, we appreciate you having me. Um, Hank said the firstborn will be almost a clone of your dad, which I think he is. My brother is very much like my dad. Uh, Mike Frucci said, I'm Italian German. My mom is Italian and dad was Italian German. So all of your siblings are the same Italian. Ger I get, I get yeah. that we're all going to be the same things, but I just thought that there was more dominant. What are you dominant? What? Like maybe she's more Italian than me. How would, how, she, how could she be more Italian than you or less? You're the, you have the same, your genetic makeup is from the same people. Now, if your dad was different than her dad, yeah, you could have different. Even if you're now, let's say your dad was Italian, but isn't your the same as your sister's dad? But they both were Italian. Then yes, you could have less Italian than your sister because you have different dads. I don't know. I'm gonna have to talk to siblings who have, have any siblings done this. The 23 and me. I'm curious. Look at this design. Let me focus in on what you got going on so we can take a break from my chitter chatter here. Your silliness. <laughs> chitter um, Shaggy chitter. said, looking pretty sweet there, Johnny. Kevin said, only way to find out, I guess, if you need to know, then go for it. Yeah. I don't know if I want to spend the money. <laughs> I'm okay not knowing. Clearly. <laughs> um. Luke said, I'm from Montreal, so I'm Canadian, but I live in Florida. So you're, you're a Floridian by geography, but your roots are Canadian. But see, even being Canadian, because that's where you were born, are you of French descent or are you of Hispanic descent? What is your... Descent? Exactly. You I don't think I know what those words mean. Ethnicity, descent, traits... If your family, if your family origin is from, let's say, Sicily, okay? Cicero. Sicily, in, in Italian, right. in, in Italy, excuse me. Then your, your, your origin or your, it would be. My family origin. Sicilian, okay? From Ital from Italia, from Italy. <laughs> <laughs> but you could be 100% Sicilian and born in jamaica you're not jamaican right you're still sicilian how's that so what's hard about that i still don't your son is not hawaiian because he was born in hawaii i know right and we won't get into no that. we will not go to the other side of it we're not sure what they are <laughs> they're, they're great great people they are <laughs> Tracy said, I wish I was like my dad. He could do almost everything. I think I think every kid thinks that they could be like their dad. I know I, I wish I could, they be, could like be or my wants dad. to be like wants their dad. Wants to be like their dad. Yeah. I guess depending on the dad. But I had a pretty cool dad. 
my dad was super handy and he used to spend a lot of time with my brothers tinkering around cars and doing like, you know, house fix and stuff. And I spent the most of my time with my mom learning, you know, basic household chores, laundry and cooking and, right. you know, things like that. So, you know, that was like the old school. I think a lot of families were probably run like that back well your mom was telling you in order you were never going to meet a man unless you knew how to do that other stuff so. unless i can make spaghetti um and right learn she, how was, to do she was she was from the old school she was which by the way this movie was about women's rights as well. was it yeah is that the premise a little bit natalie wood natalie wood's character was and that what's funny is they didn't call it uh equal rights or anything she was um it was it, it she was it was um <sighs> emancipated she yeah. was emancipated she was emancipated a woman and she was like you're an emancipated man and you know we should be able to just have conversations together because we're you know we're these equals hmm. yeah and in the in the, in the movie there, there was women fighting to have to have a job what's funny is it's it's made in 65 but it was it was placed Set back further back. yeah because clearly these type of automobiles had already been made and stuff. So, uh, Mike Furchie said, does it really matter, Eddie? No, it doesn't. I, I tell everyone I'm Italian-Irish because I come from Puglisi the, the and I'm Fitzsimmons. Um, so based on last names, that's that's how I derive what I am. But I, I don't know. My Like I said, my sister did it, and I don't even really know what her two percentages are. I think it's great to know. Uh, your your where you come from and your heritage and and those kinds of things. I'm very proud of mine. Um, I'm so I'm glad I know a lot more about it. I'm glad my mom and I had have had multiple conversations recently about it, which has been great. Well, I think the difference with um, with your Indian descent is Native American. Native American is just the the empowerment of that culture over there i mean we went to that what was the place that we went to the museum oh i took you to the natural history museum so you really got to so i could really learn about which was, which was really cool in santa barbara there's uh, uh the natural history museum and they have quite a large um display display and uh, a lot of the the local history which is the tribe that my family is from and it's it was cool to be able to show you that and kind of give you like a for real like you know anytime I've ever not that you were doubting or anything like that but it was I just, just have to take one look at your mom and I did not doubt it was well <laughs> most folks would think she's Mexican mostly and and again listening to my mom and her talk about where we come from and and you know my aunts and uncles and her siblings and her parents and their parents and where they came from there's there's a long line of history but it's so cool how localized my my other than my father my dad's family being from the east you know in new england and i think have ties back to you know the first settlers and stuff but having first people that on, on the east coast but also being a part of first peoples na you know native to this this land not only from you know the west but also into mexico and stuff like that is really is really cool but that's the cool part about that history nobody who's italian i mean unless you're from italy or a region over there like i wouldn't be like oh yeah my family settled here like well because you, you just you don't know because i don't i don't have that right. i don't have that history hank said if you're italian before you go into the bathroom and italian when you come out oh you're italian when you come out what are you when you're in the bathroom mike frucci said european <laughs> I'm a pooping. In, in Eddie's case, funny. it would be a pooping. A lot. Um, Luke said French descent with German and Indian. So you have you done 23 and me? Um, Draco said, or you're a pooping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Robert Spear said, tonight on Sketchy Live, Eddie B learns how 23 and me works. <laughs> right. Uh, Dave Walter said the mailman's kid after the DNA test, right? Um, Hank said, Itty B is Jamaican Johnny crazy. All the time. Every day. Oh, I love her. Every day. Uh, Luke said, like my siblings were all born in Massachusetts and don't claim to be Canadian, but born to French Canadian parent. Okay. 
Um, Dave said, you're talking traits. I can cook Italian due to grandma showing me, but can turn a wrench as well. Depends on upbringing. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely, you know, those kinds of things, but I think it's, it's great to know where you're from and who you are and that kind of stuff. And, and it's, it's great to be proud of well, wh wh where you, you come know from. The area, the... You know, the area that I grew up in and it was either, you were either Italian or you were Jewish that's pretty much the area that I grew up in mm -hmm. was an Italian Jewish community. Hmm. There wasn't much, wasn't much else. You were either Italian and Catholic or you were Jewish and you went to the synagogue. Hmm. Well then what, a, what, a, uh, you know, the, there's such a, you know, it's not a huge, I'm sure there was more than that. You just, you're just not aware. No, of those it. were the predominant. I, again, I think there was probably more than that. You're just not aware of it. Or weren't aware of it because you you based on your family and what i've seen of your family you really kind of just uh, stayed in your little hub and that was it but if, in, I, in if the, i pull out my yearbook in new jersey you will see when i'm talking if i pull out my yearbook i bet you there's but again you're looking at surnames and you're counting those for who they are right i'm wood but that's not all i am you're puglisi it sounds like you're a lot of that but there's more to you than that I, th I don't think I'm as Italian as I claim to be. Probably. I'm probably more Irish. Mm. My mom's side was Irish. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Michael Williams says some differences come from DNA com combinations. Each parent contributes one of two gene pairs for each of the 23 pairs. So the combinations are variable within the possible genes. Can that differ from sibling to sibling though? Yes. Um, Kevin Johnson said she got emancipated from eating too much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> he was signing out, but he stayed on to, to make that comment. That was awesome. Um, Howard Pierpont said, you lost. I lost in my house. Uh, <laughs> Luke said, Native American and Native Canadian mix. Kevin Byron said, Johnny, find your tribe and get some of that casino cash in California. Um, his his family actually works for the casinos out there. Yeah. I, I, I From a young person, I had that available and... Decided, nah. I just... All I could think about, and this, I don't know if it's just stupidity or or whatever, but I just felt to myself, I, I know I had enough, according to what we kind of learned, I probably had enough to qualify for it, but I just, I just felt like there were people that were, there were people who were actually on, on reservation that were probably way more deserving yeah. of that, of those monies that I, I wouldn't want to take it, even though, you know, most people go, you're an idiot because they would let you, but I just didn't, I didn't think it was right. Well, you had talked about buying land out there for a dollar or something. You were joking about it though. We yeah, never did it. it was like a joke. Babe. We never did it. Um, Howard Pierpont said uh, that you might be able to join the SAR, especially being from New England. I don't know what that is. SAR? SAR? SOAR. Sore. Sore about that. Um, Joe Lombardo said, we always discussed our heritage sitting around the table at nights, having coffee with most of my nine aunts and uncles, cousins, and friends. That's when it happens. I don't get the yeah, opportunity to really it's, do that with my family too often. Maybe that's something we'll talk about over Father's Day weekend. Yeah, we should make a, make a, a thing of it and really try to find out. Yeah. Just, to, I think it's cool. I mean, but when you and your mom get together, I feel like every time when she's here at least maybe not so much when we go out there to see her no, but, but again it's here, it's super important to me i want to know and i really want to stories i want to know more i learned i learned the last my last visit with my mom on uh, the holidays about multiple um uh family members mostly of the women's side i didn't really ask about the men who lived to be over 100 you know and live into you know 110 105 there was multiple people so the possibilities of that, and they were people that weren't teetotaler people or, you know, or whatever they were, they just, they just lived life. And that's what, you know, they're very jovial and happy people. Most of them. And Mama Wood has got another 20 years in her. I'm that's telling what, that's you. That's what we if said. We're like, you better hope you do that, mom. You know, this is so look there. We got the, uh, yeah. not only do we have the professor fates, uh, that's cool the uh, car, but we've also got the torpedo um, that goes, attacks the jet boat in the beginning of the movie. Then we also have their uh, stunt car to go to break world record. They were trying to break a world record. So that was the basis of the movie. Le Leslie, the great Leslie was a stunt, uh, a daredevil. 
And so he would do th daredevil stuff and Professor Fate was always trying to mess with him to screw up his daredevil because he was also a daredevil. Oh. So there was the battle of, yeah. So, but they, theirs would always get screwed. So like this one, they put a torpedo in the water going after the big jet boat that he was racing to break a world record. And it was supposed to, it was set to have this little telescope thing that would come off the top of it and it would listen for the loudest noise and it goes into the water and starts chasing the jet boat well professor fate and max start their car up and it's all ch -ch 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 bang ch -ch -ch bang and the thing see hears that and comes on land and blows them up oh geez yeah so that was one they shoot they sh he leslie's up in a big air balloon hanging from it he's gonna escape from this uh straight jacket so they shoot a big arrow into the into the hot air balloon and he escapes hits the parachute makes it the hot air balloon comes down lands on them oh. <laughs> it sounds like a <laughs> yeah so this rocket car they go and they're like 300 miles an hour 400 miles an hour and then you see them kind of you see the the tracks get further behind them and you see sky and they're up there and there's like ducks flying in a v and they're like oh no and they just it seems like a wily e. coyote a lot of wacky races uh Hanna barbera uh, i think they, they took a took lot of a that lot of it from yeah. that that's what it sounds like um hank said i'm a mutt which gives you a name like dutton or deton as some people call me smh deton smack me hard <laughs> joe lombardo said gotta run preparing for work domani buonante what is that okay bueno note oh domani buena note what did you say smack me hard yeah it's a running joke okay it, it, i i thought it was smack she me thought hard. it was smack me hard for the longest and time he's like it's shake my head i'm like oh <laughs> so every time i see it just to joke with them i say smack me hard <laughs> she didn't she didn't know it Kev. kevin's joining us by the way from over in the uh kitchen um <laughs> howard pierpont said sons of the american revolution is the group sars okay sorry sore um he said ancestry.com uh naz malone's joining us hey guys hope all is well hope you're doing well over there naz yeah a lot of stuff going on over there yeah hope everything's okay um the mccoys brian is like a ragu part hillbilly part kunas born in africa he identifies as an african coon billy <laughs> 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 honestly nowadays it's really whatever you identify as i could identify as a mongoose as a filipino and it would be completely acceptable yeah craziness guys craziness what color was this thing black oh okay well it should be easy we are at 52 minutes and 51 okay, seconds we're not right doing too bad, then. 21 viewers still watching us guys if you haven't recently you'll want to go check out johnnyjalopy.com we've got a new t-shirt up on the site i want to see if it's the first one listed so i will tell you in just a moment um but addition in addition to the t-shirts we have a ton i'm talking a ton of art prints available for you to look at the last four full years of sketchy lives i think we started in february of 2018. There so is 18 bunch. 19 20 and 21 off look at how i'm counting i saw you <laughs> i didn't have to look i knew that's how i count and then your weird so my weird finger thing yeah is that part of 23 years. and me <laughs> is that how is that is that the is that more the Irish in you or is know. that the I don't is know. that the New Guinea? I don't know. Um, but four full years of sketchy designs, and then there's a couple hundred, I think, in these standard art prints available from like years past. I mean, we're dating back to like 2012, 2013. Mm -hmm. There is artwork that Johnny did from years ago, and those are available as well and we probably have more to add to it i think we'll be working on that hank has been working <clears throat> excuse me hank's been working tirelessly to get stuff done <clears throat> you all right yeah i swallowed wrong um which part though was it the italian in you or the uh... <laughs> it might have been might have been um so we have the sketchy speed equipment um this is a new shirt that we have available love it, it yeah came out so good it really did i mean i'm really super happy with it and that is the very first shirt and it says new on it and then um also the space junkie shirt it's not 
hundred percent new. We've had it for a couple months now, but that's up too. Um, the sketchy speed equipment shirt is white on black, but the space junkie, we did the off white on mm -hmm, black and mm -hmm. it, it looks great. We've had a lot of people interested in that one. Um, and then we still have, um, as a new design as well, that, um, full color design that we have at the Volkswagens. That's the only full color we have right now, but we do have some stuff coming up. We have some new merch coming up. Um, we're putting in, um, Johnny's going to work on this tomorrow, possibly a, um, hat and beanie order because we're running low on those. Yeah. 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 So, um, same beanies. We're going with the same design. We might go with a shorter beanie. This one is a little long on the top. I wasn't real sure if the smaller ones were going to work, but I think we're going to try a run of the smaller ones as well. So we'll have those available. We have the standard Johnny Jalopy trucker hats that Johnny's wearing tonight. And then we have the sketchy speed equipment hat up front, black and gray, which we're going to do a giveaway tonight of one of those hats. So did you decide what you want to do for the giveaway? Or? Yeah, I will. Okay. So we will announce that in a little bit, but we've got a giveaway coming up for a sketchy speed equipment hat. How many people we still have? We have 30 now. Okay. We have 30. Um, Raphael VW is joining us. Good night, family. I hope you are well. A hug in the style of Mofongo Power. What is going on? <laughs> we haven't seen those folks in a while. I know. I know. We actually, um, let's try and do that. I think it's first Friday down at OCC. We'll see if we can get the bug running. We have had some bug is running. chilly weather, well, cleaned up and ready to go on a long journey. Um, but there's a local meetup that they do first Friday, I think, at um, Ocean County. No, not Ocean County. Orange County. Orange. I'm from Ocean County. Tom You're Turner. a dork. Um, Orange County Choppers has a facility in St. Pete with, um, it's really just a bar and grill. And, but they've got some memorabilia and stuff up. We're actually going to be taking my brother down there when he comes to visit. He'll be here the end of February. <laughs> they have a facility. Of <laughs> it's not really a facility. It's not. <laughs> uh, Naz said, not to get political, but yeah, our country is being run by morons. Um, yeah, I know, buddy. Same Z's. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't think it's good anywhere right now. So we just got to... We just got to stay positive. We feel for try you. And get through we it. feel for you. Uh, the McCoy said Lisa is part Indian from the Fakawi tribe in Texas. Oh, geez. Their tribes moved around until they got to Texas and said, We're the Fakawi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a little F troop. By the way, That's speaking of silly. F troop, if you're an F troop fan, McCoy's uh, in the great race, in the bar fight scene, F troop guy. One of the F troop guys. Is like a main character. I did talk to my dad earlier today and asked him if he saw this movie, and he said he didn't think so because there was no nudity. because there was no nudity in it. <laughs> <laughs> if it didn't have nudity, he didn't watch it. Yeah. So okay. So he he didn't see Thanks, it. I, I would have thought he would have seen it. Thanks, Papa. Right? <laughs> if he couldn't arrange the foil on a coat hanger to see it, he wasn't <laughs> watching it. <laughs> Couldn't arrange a coat hanger. Uh, Tracy said, I hope to have more guys wanting hats just like mine. Everyone asks me about it. We have hats available. And like I said, we're putting in another order for the uh, original design because yeah. we are a little low. A little low. Just a smidgen. But, um, but that's good. Low is good. Low inventory is good. That means we're selling out and you guys are enjoying the product. Thank you to anyone who has sent us photos, by the way, of yourselves in the products, wearing the t-shirts, wearing the hats, um, yes. rocking the, rocking the cool Looking wristbands. Great. Yeah. Love it. Um, Draco said, Hakoi like F troop. Fakawi. Hakawi. Fakawi. Oh, he said H. What, where the fuck? Where the fuck? I know that I knew. Alicia Allen said, love the beanie. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Today is oh man, it was chilly. It was great when I was at uh, out in the desert. Yeah, it definitely saved me out there. So saved your ears for sure. It's a great, great product. I'm glad I owned it. <laughs> it is such a warm hat. I mean, I have other beanies. I have probably twelve oh, yeah, beanies. Super, super uh, warm. And this one, because of the lining in it, it's first of all, it's just comfortable on your head, and then also very warm. I love it. 
Um, Draco said nudity always helps. <laughs> <laughs> Does so. That's what Hank they say. said, don't forget to sign up for the JJ newsletter coming out soon. Right. Tell us about it. Tell us about the newsletter. Because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> um, let me see. Where would we find the newsletter? Yes. So um, on the website, run underneath, grab some merch. If you keep scrolling past the About Johnny section, there's a little blurb there about Johnny's background, some photos of us. Um, there is an email address there to subscribe to the to the newsletter. And um, we we don't have that fully put together yet. So I don't know what's going to be in the newsletter. Maybe up and coming things, uh, maybe shout outs when there's new product available, um, whatever it might be. For all of you that tune in with us on Monday nights, you're pretty much on the cutting edge of uh, knowing what's going on with us. But for anyone who doesn't check in regularly on the Monday night broadcast or doesn't watch playback, it's a great place to start. It's a great way to stay informed yeah. if you're a fan of Jalopy merch. If you're Not even just Jalopy, Jalopy merch, yeah. but Jalopy. Thank you. I was like, what are you doing? Jalopy happenings, I would say. Because if, <laughs> right? Like, what if what if we are going to New Jersey and we're what trying if, to plan to get together? That would be a way to know. And then if you want to come, you can you can join us. Or what if we go up to Georgia to see Draco? Or I'd love to go to Louisiana and visit the McCoys. You yes. Know, if we're if we're doing stuff like that, because you know the McCoys not may not know we're coming this way. If they have the newsletter, they'll be like, oh, they're, they're going to be here at our I house guess, on I Thursday. Guess they're be here. Yeah. <laughs> so fun stuff like that. Um, maybe happenings of where we're going to be. We can maybe do a calendar. And if there's some local shows, like there's the, the Kumquat Fest this weekend, I know Lizzie has been talking about. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. not sure if they'll even be there, if Randy's still sick, to be honest. Yeah, but no. um, we're not sure if we're going to be able to go. But if we do head out that way, maybe that's something we would post. And that would give us like a place to post it or mm -hmm. maybe notification. In any case, I digress. We will get that put you, together. You I digress. Okay. Tracy said, I wore my beanie tonight. My neighbor had me out there shooting his uh, AK rifles. That was really fun. Yeah. Cool. So if you have a gun, you're definitely going to want to get a beanie. <laughs> Draco said, better save that ammo. True story. Hashtag true story. Um, Tracy said, you forgot Rocky Mountain to visit me. Tracy, we were in Rocky Mountain <laughs> two years ago during the pandemic, actually. We probably drove right by you. Oh, my goodness. That was a trip. One of the one of the most fun times I had on a road trip with you. We just we drove all the way to Jersey, made it there quick, visited my family, and then took our time getting home. We took like four days to get home, stayed in a couple different places, got to go places we've never been. Uh, some of it not on purpose. Poor directions. That would be me. <laughs> you know, every single time he says, I don't know why I follow your directions, yet every single time. I am tasked with directions. Do you realize this? You'll get it right yet. Oh, so you're giving me an opportunity to redeem myself. That's right, That's every time. Is. I would think if I were driving a vehicle like this one, I'd probably be able to see things a little easier because I'm at a higher elevation. Does this car still exist anywhere? What do you mean? Does somebody have it? The original? Uh, it's probably in a museum somewhere. You think so? Yeah. How did they get in it? What do you mean? This is all it's this is when it's raised up. It doesn't drive like this all the time. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Oh. See, again, I didn't watch the movie. Yeah, well. So what do you press a button and it lifts like that? Press the button, Max. Is that what he said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he presses the button and it lifts up. So the thing in the front, this is actually this piece right here. Mm -hmm. So the, the design of that is it's, it creates warmth, heat. So oh. it'll melt snow and rain, right? And poke their way through. And then raising up through the top, they won't be stuck in the snow because they're way above it, right? Nice. Dual engines. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Press the button, Max. So he presses the button. It's supposed to lower them back down. Mm -hmm. Well, he presses the button where the cannon comes out and it shoots and blows up their whole, uh, where the, <laughs> the garage <laughs> it falls on them. It's like a combination between Wiley Coyote, Wiley Coyote, and... and like Get Smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember Get Smart? Yeah, he was always doing silly. Was things. he? Dope sketch, Jody Loke. Uh, Jody Loke. That's all I'm gonna say. 
because I'm about ready to say. butcher the rest, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, Jody Loke, dope sketch job. Thanks, man. It is pretty cool. I'm digging it, guys. These uh, sketchy prints are twenty bucks, seventeen by eleven, eleven by seventeen. However, you're going to display it comes full color, shipped to you for free. We're still doing free shipping because I have not yet done a good job. A good job. <laughs> Figuring out the postage. <laughs> that, was, that was too easy. <laughs> um, so my mistake. Well, that was that was super easy. Just to, put, just to put words in your mouth. I not done. My I mistake is your blessing. So free shipping still into 2022. For the moment, we still have 27 people tuned in, looking to see how this one shapes up. It looks like you are almost done. You're just putting your highlights in. <clears throat> Yeah, just putting some stuff in. Let me get on the screen here for you so I can show you. And um, is this a desert area? Did it take place in a desert area? It took place all over the world. Oh, okay. Oh, Lee Joe Sanchez says, I remember that movie, The Blimp with the Rocket. Yeah, they tried to drop the uh, a rocket from this. So the Professor Fate and Max are, this is, it's tied up right here. But they were on this blimp, right? And there, it it runs off a, a bicycle pedal, right? So they're going over the top of the Leslie special, and he says, "Max, bomb!" And he hands him the bomb, and he's got his little thing, and he's lining it up, and he drops it, and it catches on the fork on the bottom of the bike and blows them up. Oh my god! <laughs> what a disaster! <laughs> it was great. Vane Juan Bejia host is joining us as usual from Argentina. Present John Paul, what best is regards. Hey, man. Welcome, Michael Williams said, "Take the time to watch the movie; you'll love it." Others, those magnificent men in their flying machines, yeah, that's those a good one daring too. young men in their jaunty jalopies. <laughs> Hank said, um, "Have you guys watched Triple D with Guy?" Yes, I could totally see Johnny driving Kona and Eddie running beside. Running beside. Oh, filming it. <laughs> uh, Luke said, I'll watch the great race later. It's, I mean, it's, listen, it's, so it's, uh, it's not a new film. So it's, you know, old jokes type stuff. Clean humor. Um, yeah, pretty much. No nudity. We've already established. Um, Natalie Wood does, uh, does do a bikini scene in it. So, so there's that. Tippity tops for that. But um, yeah, I mean it's like corny humor. It's the dude that did uh, uh, Pink Panther, the director. He's the director. Of this. Would you know him as the director? Is he, he in it? No. Oh. Hank said, "Have you guys watched Triple D?" Okay, yes. Um, so I could see JJ driving Kona talking about the next episode with Itty running right beside filming it. Totally going to happen this year. <laughs> it might. It might. Um, you were working on trying to do some sort of a commercial stuff, right? I was. I wanted to. I do like. I love Triple D. In fact, uh, that's usually my weekend viewing. I'm talking about us, babe. I wasn't talking about Triple D. No, I know, but in the stylings of Triple D, right? I, I, I love it. We I'm John Jalopy, and we're rolling out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got Eddie B over here running beside me, <laughs> trying to film it. <laughs> Um, Draco said it's no die hard. This is true. This is true. So Johnny is just putting the finishing touches on this thing. Let me go ahead and zoom in so you can see what he's doing. We've got some shine. Looking good. Looking good. Now, was that the color of their real window, or did you do your jalopy window on that? What do you mean? Because it looks like it's a green turquoise tint. It's tinted. Glass is tinted. Michael Williams said an article in Car Throttle says V O L O Volo is selling all three JJ's, all three in JJ's picture, according to Hemmings. Oh, really? What does that mean? Volo. What's Volo? I don't know. They're selling all three in JJ's picture, according to Hemmings. Oh, okay. So all three of these things in, in here? Maybe. I don't know, babe. Ask the person that wrote it. Michael, are you referring to all three in this picture here? The blimp 
and then the scissor vehicle. Oh, wow. Look at the way you're doing that. That looks great. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it really comes alive with the highlights like that. Like, because I could see those little triangles in there before, but it totally looks like, what would you call that, crane material? Girder? Yeah. Is that what it is? Girder. <laughs> Sounds like a disease. <laughs> I have girder. <laughs> Suffering from a bad case of girder. Girder. That looks cool. Oh, he said yes, ma'am. Ah, so those cars are still around then. Okay. I don't know if they're the originals, but I, I think I did see a picture. Well, we were talking about talking points when before we signed on here. And I said, one of the things that I noticed was that this is twofold. The way your brain works is to come up with something crazy like this, kind of out of the box. And then how Ian's brain works, which is, yeah, I could totally build that. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could totally see Ian, um, like, this would be something he would have come up with. Yeah, it is definitely something he could do. Totally a full custom type car. I don't know if he'd be able to find girders laying around in the desert. Oh, he'd make them. Yeah, he probably would. Fabricate them. Yeah, this does look super cool. Is that a shark face on that thing in the back? Mm -hmm. Oh, funny. Yeah, when I was making dinner, I was hearing stuff going on. There was a lot of women yelling. Maybe mm -hmm. that was the the riot you were talking about. They were fighting for their jobs. What kind of jobs were they wanting to do? Were they just wanting? jobs in general? Oh, really? Um, Michael Williams said, I googled where is the Hannibal 8, and this showed up. Oh, okay, all right. So, still out there, somebody's probably getting to drive it. Super cool. Well, there's been some, um, what do you call it, where someone's made replica replicas, yeah. Good, good, good job. That's exactly what I was thinking. I got it right for once. You did. Who knew? Likes and loves, guys, if you're digging this. I do see we have 45 likes or loves already, which is awesome. Cool. 23 people still tuned in. We're at an hour and 12 minutes tonight. This is season five, episode three. Why do I feel like this? there should be more episodes? But we're still in January, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Episode three only. Wow. In season five. Um, Hank said, typically when I open my front door, I hear women yelling. Oh. <laughs> you mean when you're coming in from outside? <laughs> yeah, at your place, I imagine. <laughs> Lizzie said, this is awesome. She's digging it. Yeah, total scene going on. This is it like, it kind of reminds me of like a Mad Max invasion of sorts. Well, these were they all, a his, bunch of weird these were all his uh, things. So. Super cool. Yeah, so um, Johnny was able to find the movie on Amazon for $1.99. I'm surprised they even had it. Why? It's a popular movie. It is? Yeah. When did you watch it first? When you were little? Probably. You don't even remember. I don't remember exactly. Jody Loke is laughing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. James Olchen said, I need to go to Hulu and find this movie. Great job. God blessings to you. God's blessings. You too. Um, yeah. I don't know if they have it on Hulu. We don't have that yet. We are uh, considering making a switch though. Now that Ian is on motor trend, um, we can probably get rid of our cable. Initially we had cable so we could get the Mav TV channel because that's mm -hmm. where Ian's shows were. And that's, um, it's Who called Full Aaron? Custom Garage, babe. Yeah, Full Custom Garage. It's not Ian's show. Well, anyway. Yeah, you, you didn't remember what the name was. Yes, I did. I wasn't, it's I wasn't even thinking Full Custom nobody, Garage. Nobody will tell. I know. That's my point. Uh, Michael Williams said a lot of big stars in this movie. Yes, there was. When you were reading off the cast to me, I didn't, I didn't even realize. Yeah. All those people were in it, so... Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch it still. No, nope, too, too old for you. It, yeah, it might be. And it's not, it doesn't have fart humor in it, so you won't really get oh, it. Is that what I enjoy? Pretty much. <laughs> that's all you know. Mike Frucci said just get the Motor Trend app. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. 
you probably will do that and just stream was the writing on the side red mm -hmm. okay i didn't know if you were just you know that's it. why i'm doing it red well, I didn't know why you wouldn't have done it red to begin with. Um, Tracy Corkfell said something funny. This past summer, my door was open and a red dot appeared on my wall. Then my phone rang and it was my neighbor with a laser on his big rifle. He asked if I had seen the light. He lives about 300 yards from me. He used to be a sniper in the army. Yikes. <laughs> was it one of those questions where he's, do you see the light? And he goes, well, you will. In a minute, yeah. <laughs> that is Give crazy. me one sec, you will. Um, Draco said, and no nudity. Yeah, that is a bummer, Draco. I don't, I don't think Draco will be watching it. You're bummed that there's no nudity in it? I could care less. I can just take my own top off and see. That's, <laughs> see. that's true. You live with boobs all the time. I do live with boobs all the time. Hmm. Must be nice. I don't know. It's, it's not nice? Not really a picnic, no. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Shoot, if I I'm had boobs, I'd, look, in the way. I'd be looking at them all the time. <laughs> Would you? I'd be like, dang, check out these fun bags. Yeah, try laying on your stomach. I do lay on my stomach. It's great. It's fun. With boobs. Oh. Um, it's not great. I'm sure it's pretty fine. Nope. All right, guys. Loving the details on this. Very cool. We're down to 19 viewers, but... We do have 48 likes and loves. That's right. So people are digging it, I That'll think. Be the, that's our little cartoon for tonight. That is the Professor Fates Humble 8. Hank said, boobs are not a picnic. New JJT design. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Love it. Sketch it up. Sketch it up. It's a fun little, little tune. Season 5, Episode 3, In the Books. Great race. Thanks for joining us tonight and talking yeah, about fun. 23 and Me. Your and ethnic backgrounds. <laughs> that pretty echoes, much dominated. Echoes the entire on the mic. Yeah. Headphones we used for two minutes. <laughs> Great investment. Wine that was fun. We did have some uh, some um, commercials in the middle. Yeah, we yeah. did. I love the commercials. Guys, if you have more commercials and want to share anything like Shaggy, I know, um, runs a cool thing. We need to find uh, the McCoys for sure. Yeah. And we need to find Hanks. For sure. Um, and if, guys, if you would just graciously resend them, that would be fantastic because finding it is probably going to be a chore. Um, but, I mean, we've got Shaggy that can send us something. We've got the Allens that can send us something. There's lots of people. Yeah. Everybody I mean, could definitely be. Pretty much something. everybody who tunes in has some kind of special skill and something to share. They've so. got a lot of. Very important skills. I will find you. Very skilled people. And I will hunt you down. And I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so thank you so much for your support, for joining us on the broadcast as always, and for the support that you've shown through the website. Hank D, again, thank you so much for all you do for us. HankD.com. Guys, go check out his website and see the cool stuff he's got going on. Um, more cool stuff to come from Johnny Jalopy this year. We are just beginning. Yeah, we're just, we've only we just haven't even begun. had our planning meeting yet. We still have to do our planning meeting and really knock out some cool details. Don't forget, go ahead and go to the one shot, okay. single shot. But anyways, not so much that. I wasn't talking about that one. Uh, with every order that you place at johnnyjalopy.com, you get one of these cool free, get uh, stay sketchy wristbands. And, and the bands that you get will not be upside down. Is it upside down? <laughs> yeah. It's not. Yes, it is. Is that better? Are you wearing it so you can see it or so others can see it? That was for the it? others can see it. Why would I wear it so I can read it? That's how I have mine. You know, vanity, vanity. <laughs> That's how I have both of mine. Oh, I know. It's all about what you can see. It's it fine. Is. It's it fine. Is. Hey, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. JohnnyGloppy.com. Hats, beanies, mittens, Steve's. We got it all. We'll see you guys soon. Stay sketchy. Cheers. Cheers.